Hey guys, I just wanted to go through how to use the roster extractor application and how to import your roster stats to msf.gg for easy reference and use within your alliance and also some great options for visibility for alliance leaders to see exactly what sort of teams you have, what your current roster looks like, and maybe plotting out you know, whichever you need for those new Greek raids and trying to figure out who would be best suited for each lane. Uh, so let's go. The first thing you have to do is go get a copy of Roster Extractor on your PC. So there's a couple different ways you can do that. You can go to the Zara Tools uh, Discord and go to the Roster Extractor section under version. We'll have the latest version. The last one here is 11.11.2020, so it's been about a month and a half since they last updated it. Uh, I know they're working on lots of new things for it, so it may be a little bit longer until they get a new version out, probably sometime early next year. But that's uh, the first place you can go. There's also a hard link to it, which I'll put in the description for zaratools.me and slash roster extractor.zip. That will get you a copy of it. And then what you'll do is you'll go find it in your download folder and extract it. So on Windows, you need to extract it, create the folder. It'll be called roster extractor. And that will have the tool as well as other uh, useful information like the readme, which is really important because these instructions need to be followed. What you want to do is open the Roster Extractor application and what it will be is a command line window here. And what it looks like is, well, I guess I can't make that much bigger, but it says, are you sure you want to proceed with the Roster Extractor? Get yes. And the next thing you want to do is <laughs> see, do you want to enter debug mode? I'm going to hit nothing. Uh, Anything other than the letter D will get you out of debug mode. Now, there's two ways of doing this. Either you can do it yourself uh, by clicking right you know, through each person on your in, uh, roster and letting it uh, capture the data, or what I like to do is use the automatic one. So the first thing you want to do is go to the first person on your roster, even if they're favorited, that's fine, and uh, press the A for auto button here in the command line, and then it says press Y to use the auto mode or any other key to cancel. I'm going to hit Y and let it go to town. And while it's doing that, I'll talk through a couple of the other things that are just helpful tips to make it more accurate. So the first thing you want to do is see that the first few people are getting uh, picked up by the extractor. It actually gives you a readout uh, in text of what it's pulling from each individual character. So it gives you the name, it gives you stars, gives you the shards, gives you the abilities, uh, the uh, classes are actually the ISO classes and then you can see a lot of mine are 33333 three, 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 three. <laughs> that's because um, that's mostly what I've done with my guys but that'll at least capture that information for you as part of your roster extraction process and it's a lot easier than having to do that all manually or tracking it manually. Now a couple of things in the readme that I want to point out that are really important is uh, the first few times I tried this thing, it didn't really work for me. And I figured out why. Um, I needed to read the manual, <laughs> admittedly so. I thought I could just go ahead and hit the button and let it go. Um, but it's really, really important to have your settings correct in blue stacks to work with this thing. Um, so the first thing is it needs to be on the right resolution and it needs to be at 240 DPI. Uh, I normally run at 320 DPI and uh, 1920 resolution. This one needs to be on the, uh, was it 20, uh, whatever the 2K resolution is. Um, you need to have the game open, obviously. You need to be at the roster screen when you start it. Um, you don't want it to be somewhere else in the game or not have the game open because then it won't do anything. <laughs> uh, another thing is you must run it in windowed mode. You can't run it in full screen. So uh, make sure you have it running in windowed mode, which is generally how I operate. I would imagine most people do. It's kind of nice having it in windowed mode and have the rest of your desktop to do other things. Uh, it's just easier for me to manage. Uh, a few other things you want to um, make sure that you don't do anything else while it's running. So it is technically taking over your mouse and clicking through your roster for you, right? It's hitting the button to the right and it's catching that information as it comes through. And you don't want to mess with that, right? You don't want to accidentally click on like an equip all or upgrade stars on some crappy character that you don't really care about. Um, you could potentially do that because it is pulling back control of your mouse each time it tries to switch characters. 
Uh, at the end, uh, this is really neat. Sometimes certain characters just don't get picked up correctly. Sometimes uh, it just doesn't work for whatever reason. Um, sometimes with newer characters, the models just aren't recognized yet, or maybe the roster extractor needs an upgrade update. And uh, you can either do those manually, or at the end, it'll actually tell you what characters it's missing. And it'll ask you to go back to them. And when you're on that character screen, hit a button. It'll try to capture that character's information one more time. And that's really nice because I know there were a couple uh, a while back that just weren't picking up very well. And so that's a nice way to make sure that you get through and uh, catch all the information you can, po uh, uh, can from each individual uh, character. So uh, another thing that's kind of neat is that it's going to give you two output files when it's done. Uh, one is in a JSON format and the other is in a CSV uh, or Excel file kind of format. And it's really nice because msf.gg, the website, uses the CSV version, whereas the uh, roster organizer or Groot tool from Zara Tools uses the JSON file. And so it's really neat that you know, it pulls all this information together and it spits it back out in both versions so that either Either one could be utilized and potentially I think other other services could use the same thing if they ever wanted to uh, it's very easy to read it's all just flat text file stuff that it's very very simple for a programmer to pick up on that and use it all um, a couple other things uh, you can actually use both <laughs> I actually have my info now on MSGFJ gg as well as my own roster organizer uh, excel sheet and google sheets which is really nice uh, so i can pull information from either one and uh, because i like to work a lot with spreadsheets i like to have it in both uh, versions because my alliance likes to use msf.gg for the um, you know raid coordination and and stuff like that whereas me personally when i'm trying to plan out stuff like my dd4 um, characters and all that i want to have it in roster organizer because i want it in that excel format for re referring back to my characters you know current gear levels and uh, what gear they have equipped and all that it just makes it a lot easier for me uh, if it's in that format instead. All right, it looks like we're almost done here. And let's see, that took about five minutes for it to run through. Um, you know, you don't have to sit here and watch it. You can also just grab a drink or go do something else for a few minutes and come back. When it's done, it's going to say, ah, I wasn't able to detect Yelena Belova's uh, info. So I need to go find her. She's at the bottom because I don't have her. And then uh, press enter. So I'm going to hit it again and see if it can pick it up. And yeah, they picked it up. Three reds, zero shards. Perfect. All right, yay, it's done. Um, let's see, roster organizers, a folder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. All right, and so it closes automatically because it's done. All right, so let's go ahead and minimize strike force and let's pull up our msf.gg profile. And if I go into my roster extractor folder, you'll see now uh, it actually just created this uh, roster export underscore MSF GG uh, file, which is the CSV version, um, as well as the uh, the JSON version, which was the roster export just above that. So for MSF.GG, it's really simple. You go into your account, you hit roster, and it'll pull up your current roster from the last time you ran this. Uh, mine's changed a lot since then. I was level 76 the last time I ran this. Now I'm 79. Uh, <laughs> things have changed quite a bit. And I'm just going to hit the import button. And then I'm going to go find downloads and roster extractor and there's the file and you can actually see a preview of it over here hit ok uh, and let it update and you can see it's got all my latest information with level 79s um, all of the info I could possibly need look at that super easy super quick it pulls my total collection power in over here tallies up a couple of things my strongest team is 672 according to this um, total characters collect 153 total at max star rank is 119 uh, total stars collected is 1,015. Red stars is 730. That's interesting. Um, but yeah, there's uh, just a lot of good info here. And so you can go through your roster and figure out some, some things. A um, couple other things you could do. Uh, so I have an alliance now uh, that's on here. And so if I go in here, um, 
to the alliance thing i can go to like war defense right and i could edit my war defense and if other people wanted to they could also put in their war defenses and if they did that uh, we could kind of see where people are as far as defenses go we can see their total power across the board very quickly here uh, which would be really nice however uh not everybody's done this, so uh, we won't be using that. Uh, another quick tip is when you're trying to slide the uh, defense teams, it's kind of hard to see, but there's a uh, small slide bar just below your teams that you can grab and go left to right. Although, uh, otherwise, you can't see the uh, far right of your teams. Uh, and then you can edit them, hit edit, and then you know click on a person to kick them out, um, and then you know drop in whatever you want there. Um, that's fine, whatever you want to do. Um, you can put whoever you want anywhere and then they will be uh, once they're assigned to a team they won't be available in the other defensive teams until you remove them uh, just like in the game which is really nice uh, you can also do war layouts here you can play around with these and try uh, to talk about different things and what you prefer and then uh, another thing is there's a meta teams tab so this is kind of neat because it takes my characters and it tells me what my meta teams uh, power are so uh, like original BH is 476 but my BH2 is 433 uh, which is more important right uh, <laughs> there's my black order is 640k now um, my F4 Tron is 416k right these are all very common teams right and so it's kind of interesting to see like how that works and and what um, what works best for you as far as meta teams go and and uh, it gives you a nice overview of your entire roster and and how you do that uh, another thing you can do is just go check out raid maps if you want to um, so a lot of people are doing you know gamma raids and um, you can assign people um, here and uh, get that output as well uh, which is kind of neat for alliance management uh, but you gotta get everybody online you gotta get them in the system and you gotta get them to update their rosters as well which is kind of a pain uh, if you can't get all 24 because then you're going to be missing out on some info but if you can get an entire alliance to actually do this and be up to date uh, it can be pretty powerful as a tool uh, either that or you can just link it to your discord and uh, that's pretty cool too so the last thing is go to settings uh, go to link to discord authorize it and uh, one of the cool things is there you can now um, you can now go ahead and make requests to the msf.gg bot using your profile now that's linked to uh, the Discord. And it'll actually use your characters from your roster here online uh, when you're asking about certain teams and things like that. Uh, it's really, really neat. There's a lot of integration pieces that I haven't really even looked at yet, but there's uh, quite a bit of information to mine here and a lot of, a lot of useful features and functions that I think a lot of people just aren't aware of. And so I just want to bring some awareness to this. I think it's pretty neat. Uh, I'm going to do another one of these kind of videos on the uh, Zara Tools stuff as well. He's got some really big updates coming in the next uh, few weeks. And so I'm waiting to see what those are and how they work before I make a video on how to do that. And uh, if you're interested or you have questions, please let me know or join their discords. Uh, MSF.GG Discord and Zara Tools Discord I'll put in the description below. Uh, either one of them are happy to help with anything from the roster extractor to how to use the websites and all that. Um, a lot of good people there, a lot of good people working on this stuff and uh, doing it for mostly free. So as you can see here, they do have a Patreon. Uh, if you can, go ahead and support them. Uh, even just a couple bucks a month is a huge, huge deal to them because, you know, it, many people do that, then uh, they can keep things up and running for a very, very long time and uh, servicing the community for something that is very much needed, uh, but not supplied by the, uh, the developers of the game, unfortunately. So... Uh, but this is a great tool. It's a great amount of information and uh, if I find some more cool things to highlight I'll make some more videos on it or talk about it on stream uh, But if you do have questions Ask me or I'll direct you to the right people in the discords and stuff and uh, hopefully we can Get this moving and get more people involved with it and using it because I think it's a really powerful tool and uh, can be helpful to any alliance out there in uh, making management a little bit easier for you All right, take care. Thanks